Welcome to Learn New Technology. Today we are going to see how to install Robot Framework and how to run first test case using Robot Framework. Let's see. Writing the test script, we are going to use VS Code Editor. Let's download it. Download VS Code for Windows. Let's click on first link. So here we need to select Windows. If you are using Mac system, we can click on Mac button. Then we need to click on download. So that we will get the exe file. We can install in our system. We can start using this IDE. So let's wait further to until the download completes. Then next. So let's wait further. going to complete uh, once downloaded just to click on this uh, exe file it will be automatically installed in your system let's move on to next uh, section let's create a new folder and name it as test one so after creating new folder let's type command then code space dot it will launch the vs code so here we need to click on yes then we'll be opening vs code so this is the one of the ide so here uh, we can prepare the test script using robot framework and before that we require to add few extensions so that will support for our automation so let's see one by one now so here we need to click uh, the extension name is robot corp so the first two extensions these are we required to install so already I have, I have installed so here um, uh, in terminal also we require to add few dependencies let's see one by one now so before that let's check uh, pre requirements whether we have properly installed python and pip for that we need to check like this pip space hyphen hyphen version so it gives the information so we have properly installed please check in your system so here uh, we need to go to view menu so here we need to select create robot from next uh, we will be having option standard robot framework robot so this one we need to select the first option so here we need to give the name so I am giving name as Anthony so inside uh, the required the files will be automatically generated so here task dot robot this file will be prepared the test script so here these are the dependencies we require to install so let's go to the terminal and install these dependencies one by one then next pip install helper Then fourth one will be robot framework ride. Then final one will be for web driver manager. That is for driver. So we have copied and let's paste it in terminal command prompt. Let's wait for the download completing the packages okay oh we have completed it so here uh, we need to write the test script in task dot robot file so the first section will be settings so here library selenium library so this is the library that we are going to use in our script 
so the library font color will be changed completely in blue color oh it's right now it's changed the next line will be variable section so here we can declare the variables so what are the variables we are going to use in our test script those variables we will be adding in this section the first one will be username so now we are going to automate one login portal for this we will be require username password so for that we are going to declaring these two variables and we will give the value also before that uh, browser also so we will be using chrome browser then the portal url will, url will be sasdemo.com so here the username value the value also we can add it nearby the variable so that the value will be assigned to the variable next the password the password for this portal secret underscore sas then browser we are going to use is chrome the next what variable we can use okay uh, then site url that we require to add let's add it then we need to give the url let's copy and paste it there we have pasted it after that so let's make some space in between variable and the val values so that it will be look very nice okay we have added space in between next what we can do still be required to add the dashboard title that we can add it here so every pages every page in our web application home page and dashboard will be having the title so in here we are going to verify the title so in this portal the title so we need to click on view source then we need to click on control of so that we will get the uh, here we found it sas labs this is the title of the web page so let's copy and paste it in our script so this is what we will expect after you enter the username and password after that uh, so we need to we, we may require sleep for that here we are declaring value for this variable 5000 seconds the next so we require to add test case section so here we'll be adding the test case so the name we can add it here verify user login then tags here we can give the name verify login functionality so this were mainly in report we could see let's give the space in between tags and the value the next what we can type open browser then uh, open close qli brace so let's give the site url and browser variable so that we have added in line number six then next we enter username so which is we have added in line number four 
the first line the for number 14 it will launch the url using browser and it will enter the username for this line number 16th we are writing the code so in selenium generally we use send keys method so here we are using input text then we need to select username so that the variable username what it has it will be automatically entered in username field next enter password we need to enter before that get the locator value so here we are having the name username this is the locator and the value user hyphen name this is the locator value let's copy and paste it here name equal to user hyphen name so in this locator the variable username value will be entered next enter password so we need to get the password field locator so for that uh, input text then we are going to find the password locator so name equal to password in lower case name equal to password let's type it and dollar open close curly brace within password so now uh, it will enter the username, username and password next we need to click on login button further we need to write script click login then next click button name me equal to so we need to get the locator for the button let's click on inspect element then we need to click on login button so that we'll get the locator so name equal to login button this is the locator so check title title should be dashboard title the value which we have updated then finally we are closing the browser so in terminal let's run the script robot dot slash task dot robot so our test case is getting boss in con uh, reporting part for that uh, we need to click on report html so here we can see the uh, test report so five test five pass then if you want to see the logs click on log.html so here we can see the logs all are passed likewise you can get the result kindly subscribe our channel thanks for watching have a nice day